ritualize your habits. Ritualize your joy. Ritualize your abundance. Ritualize your happiness. Ritualize your success. And to do that, how to do that? Ritualize your habits. <laughs> I'm Bradley Shravano. It's Thursday. It's Thursday Thunder. I ritualize this video by doing it every single Thursday. The trigger for me is the date on the calendar. It's Thursday, I'm doing a video. That's it, no questions asked. And in fact, it's magic, it's auto magic. It happens because I have a trigger, because I have a ritual to do it. <laughs> hey, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because I think this is one of those like five second rules that doesn't involve like things falling on the floor and then eating them. This is like five seconds per day that can change your life. I don't say change your life lightly. There's a lot of things that say this, do this and it will change your life. I'm more about changing your minute, changing your hour, changing your day. That's what I wanna do because that's how I believe through the small habits, through the daily habits, that's how you're gonna change your life. It's not gonna be one day. I often talk about the Eiffel Tower. I was finally, I was actually at the Eiffel Tower last week. Did it change my life? No, I have a few videos about it. Watch it, go watch it. But the Eiffel Tower, I always had this idea of the Eiffel Tower is the big, oh, I need to have the romantic dinner on the Eiffel Tower in the sunset, and then and only then, you know, will my love be complete? Yeah. So then you get home. <laughs> yeah. So see this hat, right? It's, it's morning, right? I don't, I don't need this hat. But this, I love this hat. This hat ritualizes my freedom. The freedom of my voice. The freedom to speak. The freedom to present. The freedom to let my ideas fro, fro freely. Fro freely. Flow freely. <laughs> I like that. That's a ritual for me. I'm originally, I'm from San Francisco. I'm a big fan of Golden State Warriors, basketball, NBA, if you're not familiar, and Steph Curry. And Steph Curry is someone who ritualizes his success. If you ever watch a game, and you'll see when he does, and a lot of players do this kind of thing, they, he makes a three-pointer, right? And then he does something like, like, I'm not exactly sure what he does, something like this, touches his chest, and then points up. So whatever he's doing, it actually doesn't matter to us. It only matters to him. So what did that take? A second? And what is he doing? He is ritualizing his success. He just made a shot. He just succeeded. He's acknowledging the success. What does this do? This tells you and your body and your subconscious and your mind and your mind and your heart and your gut that that was something important. I did a bunch of research on lucid dreaming. And lucid dreaming, that's where, by the way, where you, you're dreaming and you can have some kind of control. It's really interesting. And the, the basic takeaway was the idea of acknowledging or ritualizing the action. And so by acknowledging what, what happened with, with lucid dreaming, for example, they talked about how you have your dream and then in the morning, you, you, before, you, like before you're even half awake, it, your eyes barely open and next to your bed, you should have a pen and paper and you could write down a few notes about the dream. So what are you doing? You are acknowledging that you had a dream. You're also telling your body, your subconscious, your mind, your heart, your gut, your soul, that what you just experienced was important and you want to do it more and you want to do it again. So it's like, hey, little little factory workers, little munchkins, little little body cells, little whatever you believe your your body is made up of, whether you think, you know, it's heart and, and blood and bones and skin and tissue, or is it energy and vibration and vitality and frequency, right? I, I actually think it's both. So what are you doing when you do that? You're acknowledging what happened. And by thus acknowledging, you're reinforcing your greater self. You're reinforcing your, your, your 
earthly self, your body self, what just happened was important. Following me here? See how I'm, I got my hat on? This is important for me. I'm in video mode. I'm in presentation mode. I'm in free flowing, let's get an under 10 minute video, cohesive, uh, concrete, you know, another C word, clear, clarity, courage, confidence. And let's do that because I put my, my favorite hat on from South Lake Tahoe. I know where this hat came from. I wear it with pride, with joy. You following me? Okay, here, I'll, I'll tell you some of mine. They're not secrets for me. They're not tricks. They're not, they are symbols. They are indicators. They are acknowledgements. And if you think I'm going woo, how woo are you? How woo can you woo? This is as woo as you'd like it to be or as not woo as you'd like it to be. We are triggering actions and reactions within our body, within our system to say that this is important what we just did or I'm about to do this thing or I just did this thing, right? For me, so for example, like, hand on my heart, hand on my chest. This is often, well, I can just tell you right now, I'm often in the woods. I will feel the presence of my mom or my dad and I put my hand on my heart and that emphasizes the connection. That's it. I'm talking about a matter of seconds that can enhance your day, enhance your joy. There's also mantras are quite a bit like that, right? Like affirmations are like that. You are saying aloud. Like for example, one of my favorites I say often is money flows to me easily and unexpectedly. One note about the unexpectedly, if you follow anything remotely spiritual, if you have this ritual and you, you know what's going to happen exactly and that's what happens, that's the expected, right? That's the expected outcome. And that's fine, but that's very linear. Where I'm going with this is sort of a, more about the exponential, the idea of exponential joy, exponential unexpected happiness and abundance, for example. That's why I say money flows to me freely and unexpectedly. Because if I said expected ways, then I would go, quote unquote, work hard and, and do the money, get the, get the, what I expected, right? It's kind of like the, I mean, it's one reason I like the whole idea of, of books and courses and whatnot. It's not the urtje facturtje, as they say in Dutch. That means like work an hour, get paid an hour, which is absolutely fine. And in fact, relevant and appropriate and good. Uh, good, I, I totally believe in urtje facturtje. Work your hour, get paid your hour, great. But we're talking about here, I, I, you might think I'm getting off topic, but I'm not. Because this idea of ritualizing your habits to enhance, and let's just call it exponentially, right? Just like you don't know what happens. If you publish a book, you might sell one, but you might sell a million. If you create that course, you might sell one, but you might sell a hundred. And that's what I think is the unexpected joy, the unexpected success, the unexpected abundance. And that's what comes, in my humble opinion, from ritualizing your success, ritualizing your habits. So for me, I've got another one. I hold my fingers like, I don't know why, if you think I'm telling secrets, I'm ha if you see me in the world, you see me in the street and I'm like this and I'm like, it's, it's, it's usually just this. And that for me is a trigger that I'm feeling the joy, I'm feeling the love, I'm feeling the abundance, or I want it to come to me, or I have so much I'm giving it out. It can change. I've got my hat on, I've got pepper behind me. I think you can see the dark little blob there. I've got birds chirping. I've got, I'm at nine minutes and I've got to wrap this up. Remember how I started this out. Thursday is my trigger. Thursday, trigger by the way, is such a, it's really seen as a negative word. I see it as a positive. What triggers you? What triggers me to speak? What triggers me to happiness? What triggers me to joy? I get on my hat, I go walk in the woods, I hit record. That for me is joy and abundance. There you have it on a Thursday Thunder. I do this every single Thursday. I'm happy you're here. Come join me every week. You can go to tt.repossible.com to sign up. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.